Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Round two for dinner tonight. I want to thank Kim for commenting yesterday on her idea for meatloaf. And I'm taking your recipe, Kim, and I'm going to try it. And I know you guys, I know, sis, I know you've uh, given me your meatloaf recipe and I can't find it for anything. So if you don't mind, I'll link my email address down in my description box and if you don't mind sending it again to me i would appreciate it and i think i'm gonna do a series once a week on my channel here um doing one of you guys recipe i think i might have said this before but i never followed through with it but this time i promise i will so if you're interested in that like i said i'll be leaving my email address and you can email me your recipe it doesn't have to be meatloaf it could be anything and so Anyway, I'll try it, so I promise. All right, we're going to get started, and what I'm going to be using for meatloaf tonight, like I said, I've never fixed it this way before. I was going to do Susan's recipe, and then um, I didn't have all the ingredients. I did go to the store and get one of the ingredients, but I didn't want to get a lot of stuff. So I got my coarse ground beef. I've got one egg, and then... I have the Golden Flake Louisiana hot sauce port rinds. We're going to be replacing the breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs with that. This lighting is awful. I don't know what to say about it. But anyway, I got the Worcestershire sauce. We're going to be using a little bit of that. And because I have um, Richard that I cook for, obviously, and he cooks for me, sometimes I'm not going to use tomatoes because he don't like tomatoes or onions. I'm not going to be using onions or bell peppers, so, you know, that doesn't leave a lot to be able to put in there, but we're going to do the best we can, so let's get started. I have everything I need right here. I did wash my hands, so I mixed my hamburger meat up with my hands, so that's just the way I do it to make sure all the ingredients get mixed in together, so I don't no need to comment. Ooh, you're using your hands. Okay, and also I couldn't get my ring off. I was trying to get it off, but I can't get it off. So either way, I'm going to put the egg in there first. I'm not sure how much Worcestershire sauce to use, but I'm just going to, you know, my best judgment. And, um... You know, this kind of freaks me out when I went to the store and just noticed it just now. I guess it'll be okay, but this Worcestershire sauce did not have a safety seal on it. Wouldn't that freak y'all out? It just didn't have them, and it come just like this. It didn't have a safety seal, which worries me a tad bit, but I don't know how much to use, but we're going to put a, some of that in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt little bit of pepper and then I'm gonna, I bet these things are going to be hot. Oh, I smell the Louisiana hot sauce in them. Girl. But we're just going to crunch those up in there. A lot of the time I use breadcrumbs. Sometimes I use crackers. I've never used port rinds before. I like port rinds. I've never had this hot of ones before. I used to get usually get the barbecued flavor, but never the this kind before. Well, let's pull some of the dark ones out of there because we know they're gonna be hot. do have a couple of things already cooking. I think we're going to have macaroni and cheese and I put some filled peas in my crock pot this morning so 
along with um, you know, bacon. That's what I season mine with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, see if I have enough. And the pork skins. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the pork rinds in there, so I'm going to wash my hands before I stick my hands in that bag, so I can wash my hands. Okay, so. That's good. Eat the pork. Hard ones crunched up a little better. We are going to have brownies. It's, um, I'll show you guys the box. I saved the box to show y'all. It's this Betty Crocker Delights the peanut butter and cookie brownie. Yum. I thought that would be good. So I love peanut butter and chocolate together. So matter of fact my brownies are still in the oven so they're at 350 degrees and not done yet so i'm probably just gonna go ahead and put since it's getting kind of late go ahead and put my meatloaf in there brownies should be done any minute so and then i can turn my oven up a little bit i generally cook my meatloaf on 375 between 375 and 400 so Do you guys put ketchup on top of y'all's? I like ketchup on top of mine. Um, Richard does not, so a lot of the time I will put ketchup on half. Well, I won't eat half of this, but I'll put ketchup on like half of it and the rest leave it, you know, not anything on there. Or sometimes I'll put barbecue sauce on his. Um, I mean, he don't care either way, but I don't want to put something on there that somebody don't like and not going to eat, you know what I mean? Okay. Now, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And I guess we'll be back when it's done and then I'll do a taste test. So, hold on guys. Hey guys, I'm starving and I'm ready to eat. Um, if y'all can hear noise, it's the air conditioner running. So I noticed that in yesterday's video, but it's hot in here, so there's nothing I can do. The oven's been on. So anyway, we are having this meatloaf. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna have, like I said, filled peas. And um, I just buy these frozen and um, they're fresh, but they're frozen, so I mean, it's not like I went out and picked them or anything, but, and then macaroni and cheese, and then these brownies, don't they look good? So, I'm just gonna try, well, I'm just gonna fix my plate, and then I'll try the meatloaf, that's what I'm so excited about. This is just box macaroni and cheese, because I don't know how to make homemade macaroni and cheese. I need to learn. So, let's try this meatloaf. I had to cut into it to make sure it was done. And it is. I'm not gonna put ketchup or anything on mine. Oh, because obviously that changes the taste of it, so. much for my mop floor, huh? Okay. That's what everything looks like. All right, 
that. Let's try this meatloaf. I'll let you guys know how those brownies are. I can't wait to try those too. So they're still cooling off. That is so good. It has a little bit of a bite to it. And that's from the pork rinds, but it is so good. They together really well. It's juicy. Man, it's good. Thanks, Kim. Alright guys, I'm going to go finish eating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any recipes you want me to do, just send them to my email and I will absolutely do them once a week on my channel. So, alright guys, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.